Ready, light check. Clipper, you are. Left light. Right light. Brake lights. Copy brake lights. Display lights. Display lights. Good to go. Pull her out. Real slow. Okay, welcome to this episode of Love Subbin, and we have started our spring 2022 trip. And it was a slow process getting going this morning, and also it was a kind of a rough tow day. Yeah, and it started last night with the storm, and you can see a clip from the storm here. This is the night before we're heading out on our spring trip. You can just see we have 50 mile hour winds. Ah, the wind buff. Things are going crazy. 50 mile an hour plus winds. Trees are going back and forth. So far it doesn't look like anything's landed on the sub yet. Look like it. Look like the truck's okay too. This is your correspondent from Love Stuff and Weather Channel Rich signing off for now. Things are going crazy. The winds, the craziness, but we're safe here trying to bring this weather situation to you tonight as we're ready to head off here shortly we hope it was nuts and right across the street from us look at what happened to our neighbor's tree that was the result of the storm last night and then on our way on the mass pike we hit a major accident that happened actually earlier that morning tipping, yeah. tipping over a semi and they were still cleaning up the mess afterwards and was blocking one lane. Yeah, and I had to actually, it came up so quickly, traffic had just stopped on the Mass Pike, I had to throw the rig into the breakdown lane to avoid slamming into rear ending the car in front of us. But it wasn't without its good parts. We, uh. Yeah, we pulled up, and all these guys are like, roll your, like, roll your window and down. We were roll like, your, what? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Did something? we hit something or whatever? And we rolled the window down, and the guy's like, we're watching your YouTube channel right now. <laughs> It was awesome. It was pretty fun. But what was even better is we were filling up the car. Oh, no. The I've been, filling I, up I unfortunately the, missed this We were one. filling up the truck, and I walked by this dude. He pulled away from the pumps with his nozzle still in his gas tank fill. And so if you're ever wondering about those things, yes, they do have quick disconnects, and it's those two silver things up at the top. And sure enough, they disconnected as the dude drove off, and then he stopped and went back in. So... I've Oops. never seen that before, but those <laughs> quick disconnects, they do work. Sorry, I missed that one. So where are we heading off to? What town? We are going to Provincetown. We are on Cape Cod. We're headed to our rally. Yes, it's an Airstream rally. It's the start of the season. It's pets and paws, and we are looking forward to it. We're a little late, but, you know, that was an hour standing still in traffic, so. Yeah, we were stuck in traffic for at least an hour, so. And maybe we'll go look for some whales. We are going to try that. All right, so let's get this episode going. We crossed the Cape Cod Canal on the Sagamore Bridge, which was built in 1935. No matter how many times I go over this bridge, it scares the crap out of me. You can tell it wasn't built for modern vehicles with that high concrete barrier. It is just not fun. We are officially on the Cape. Yes, we are. And look at the traffic on that side. Okay, well, we are at Race Point Beach, uh, just off Provincetown. I think that's right. what it is, Race Point. The Titanic was sinking, if I recall. The uh, Californian was giving it some ice warnings. The radio operator told him to shut up. I'm working Race Point, which I believe he was sending messages to this station here and then forwarding them on to New York for the rich passengers mm -hmm. instead of uh, looking at that. But you can see how beautiful it is here. It is. Some really nice seagrass, and we are going to be looking for... Whoa, wind. 
we are going to be looking for hopefully some whales whales because they come off the point as they head north so let's go ahead and check things out that's a boat See anything? Not yet, anyway. So, this is the Pilgrim Monument here in Provincetown, and they built this on the highest point that they had in town because they wanted to show the world that. Mayflower, which arrived in 1620, actually stopped here first. So they wanted to announce that to the world. And we are going to go into town in Provincetown and check that out. You can go up top. It's 252 feet tall and there's 161 steps to get to the top and I'm sure it's going to have amazing views. Maybe we'll have to walk off our lunch, huh? Yeah, we might have to walk off our lunch. So we're staying at Coastal Acres Campground in Provincetown, Massachusetts. And one of the real benefits of this campground is that you can physically walk it's probably what, about a half mile half mile to or less yeah half mile to commercial street where all the shops and interesting tourist things are so this makes it a very convenient because you don't have to go look for parking especially like in july and august i mean parking would be a disaster i'm sure so if you have a desire to go to provincetown in the summer uh, this would be a great place to put your airstream right or rv so definitely check it out and see if there's any availability first because i'm sure this place packs up quick i would bet it does We've chosen the squealing pig. It looks like they have some really good food options. So All right, let's go on in. Okay. So what do we have there, Steve? oysters they're raw but they're served Asian style which means they have soy sauce uh, roasted pepper red pepper and wasabi so they have a little bit of kick at the end so I'm gonna try one should be exciting that is a lot of wasabi that's, that's a scary amount yeah well hopefully I don't get wasabi brain brain freeze <laughs> That's what's called wasabi brain freeze. It'll open your sinuses. So I got the Tibetan chicken curry. So let's go ahead and see if this is a little less spicy than Cindy's. Uh... Mm. Is it good? Mm. <laughs> The flavors are great. It's got the, the red pepper really comes out with the curry. A piece of naan. That looks excellent. All right, so we go to the seafood capital of New England here. We go to a place called the Squealing Pig, and we order Tibetan food. No, I ordered oysters, though. Oh, okay, so you count. I had the Tibetan yeah. food. How was it, though? It was excellent. It was awesome. Highly recommended. Yeah, that, that uh, curry, spectacular. Yep. So uh, it was super busy, even in even in uh, off season, you know, April off season. But it is a Saturday. Yeah, so so everybody was doing their brunch thing. All right, let's head off to see what else we can do. We have a good time. Yes. All right. See, what is this? This is not a funicular. I think we determined <laughs> it's not a funicular. Right. It is a incline. Incline. All and right. The reason it's not a funicular is it's only one track and there's only one way up and down. At least that's what I said. Yes. So comment below if you know the what difference. a funicular is versus an incline versus what the heck this thing is technically called. Right. We're taking this up to the Pilgrim Monument, so right. it should be fun. You see we're departing the station here. And each ticket costs $20 and today we had to buy them online because their little pedestal was not working. Yes. but. There's apparently a big museum up here too, which and we, we could go up to the top, so that should be some yeah. good viewage. Kind of cool up here. I like it. Here's our crew heading up. Hey, 
hey, there's the town I was born in. Nice. Cool. And if there's anyone watching this video who commented on our landscape video and said I mispronounced the town of Balin wrong, try and pronounce this town's name because you probably won't get it right. It is not Peabody, it's Peabody. What do you think, C? We're not going to be able to see the camera from here. Are, okay. you, are you nervous about the wind blowing this thing over? Blowing what over? Oh, this? No. <laughs> I think it survived a few hurricanes in its lifetime. <laughs> how it curves around Province Sound Bay. So a fun fact, this is the tallest all granite structure in the United States. So if you look at this video here, we were actually in Barrie and they have a big granite quarry there. Mm -hmm. Alright, you can kind of get a view of our campground here. It's really short, so uh, you kind of pull in, move your tow vehicle off to the other side, your picnic table. It's basically really nice 30 amp service and water and dump station, so they're full hookups. This place was full of airstreams, and we decided to stay an extra night so that we got three nights in, didn't have to rush off. Electricity is very good, surface is good. And you can see the sub, it never fails. You wash, you go crazy getting everything clean before your trip. And then everything gets dirty, same with the truck. I mean, yeah, it's not picturesque like on the water or anything like that, but I think the, the selling point, as we said earlier, was that it's uh, walking distance to Provincetown. So during the summer when the traffic would be nuts, this place would be jackpot. So um, yeah, 60 bucks for a weekend. Expensive for full hookups, but again, it's Provincetown, so. Yeah, that's the campground review, Coastal Lakers. So we are at a rest stop off the Mass Pike. Right, and, and a trucker came by and said they had a bunch of overaged tomatoes that he had to get rid of and was giving them away to all the truckers. And it, as many as you wanted, as many cases as you wanted. So look at this. Check it out. Some sweet tomatoes. For free. For free. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a goodness kind of day. It is. Let's have tomatoes for dinner tonight. Maybe <laughs> tomato soup. Yep. So as you can see, the left lane is closed and this was checked on ways and this is a first, I think, for a flood. That's fascinating. I wonder what caused that. So. Although not a first, 2015, we had flooding going to Fort Wilderness, but in South Carolina, Look at that's that. interesting. It's like almost like a fire hydrant went out of commission or something. Oh like a, it's not really creeping up on the road yet, but I think yeah, they are. Look at this. I wonder if this is crazy. I think they're afraid it might. Huh. Maybe one of their hoses got away from them. Very fascinating. Thank God we have a bunch of tomatoes in case we get stuck. <laughs> Well, there you have it, the start of our spring trip. We towed today from Provincetown, Massachusetts to... Promised Land State Park. It was about a 364 mile tow, and but it was fairly uneventful. Which is how we like our tows, but right. this is a very nice park. It's, you know, it's early season April camping, and so the place is pretty empty. Uh, but we're but having... the ranger said they had snow yesterday. That scared everybody away. Right, that might be the case but um nevertheless hey if you like this video give us a big thumbs up and if you think we earned a subscription click subscribe and comment below if you've been to provincetown and what you like the best because we come out with rv and airstream related videos just like this one every tuesday thanks for watching